Okay, and here is the block. Sorry for the huge mess. It's uh, kind of disorganized right now. Anyways, the block is all taken apart. And uh, it's waiting to be hot tanked. So that's going to remove all this grease and grime and grossness out of it. I'm going to go through all these little ports and make sure they're clean and there's no deposits on them so that the engine can be cooled properly. And then I have all my pistons and uh, they're all labeled and put in their separate boxes. Uh, I have all the bolts and everything so it's pretty organized. You know, I just want to keep everything separate. My head is right there. It was soaking in this diesel bath and that helps break up all the carbon deposits on the valves and the head and just everywhere. And right now it's sitting upright because I'm letting it drain from the diesel fuel. And that's because this is going on a table in about a couple days and I'm gonna be taking the head apart so that I can uh, properly clean it. And then that's gonna be hot tanked as well. And here I have my oil pump, which is also soaking in this diesel uh, fluid. And that's just, you know, to help clean and break up all the oil deposits and everything. Here you can see the bottom of the engine. I uh, took out all the bearings and everything. So I actually just sent off my oil pan to be powder coated right now, along with some covers and the uh, water pump cover and a bunch of other things. So that's gonna take about a week, which should give me enough time to, you know, completely clean this block. Um, also, I need to find out exactly where to get these bearings from. I've seen a couple websites sell them, but uh, they're coming from Germany. So that's, you know, I don't really wanna wait. So I'll have to see. I also have to take it to the machine shop to get the bore. Um, well, one, rehoned and then two, um, measured so I know what size piston rings I need to get because I had low compression numbers in cylinder four, five, and six. It was a 40 PSI difference uh, between uh, cylinder three and cylinder five and uh, 28 PSI difference between cylinder three and cylinder four. So yeah, that's kind of why I took it apart in the first place. I also ordered all the sensors. <clears throat> Just, you know, it's kind of a cheap insurance, make sure everything runs fine. I'm doing a stainless steel or stainless braided um, brake line kit for it. I already replaced the rotors and the pads. The rotors are Brembo, the pads are Hawk, H A W K, pretty good. I kind of made my own air ducts. And uh, I'm gonna, my plan is to hook these, hope you can see it's kind of dark, uh, to hook these ducts with the brake ducts. And then it's gonna be like double the cooling power for the pads. Just kind of been uh, working on the engine part, but now I need to get back to working on this part while I'm waiting for the stuff to be powder coated. Replace the tie rods, inner and outer. Those are new boots. Uh, this has been cleaned. I took it off, I cleaned it, just made sure it looked nice. I'm gonna take off the brake booster, uh, repaint that. Haven't decided if I'm gonna paint it or powder coat it, but regardless, it's gonna look brand new. Um, debating the, doing the uh, AC delete. The pipes are not a big deal, but I think it would look cleaner without them. The wiring harness is all right here. It's kind of nice how it just pulls to the side. Um, I have to redo my clutch master cylinder, which is down there. I'll open the door actually. Uh, st sorry, it's kind of dark, but started doing it. So yeah, that's pretty much the update. Now uh, just waiting for the parts to come and uh, yeah, we'll get back started on it. So. Thanks for watching, and uh, if you like BMW stuff, please give it a thumbs up.